There's a lot of buzz going on about Baby Lock's Destiny 2. And for those of you who already own the Destiny, did you know that you can have a Destiny 2 also? All you have to do is get an upgrade and your machine will have all the potential that the Destiny 2 has. Come with me as I take you step by step through all the different features and enhancements and you too will be saying, I'm a proud Destiny 2 owner. Let's start with the settings pages. It's the brains of the operation. When you go to embroidery, you'll notice now that you have the new 9.5 by 9.5 frame display. And in addition to that, you can now turn on a grid either in 1 or 3 8 inch increments, which really helps when you're lining up a project. Let's go into embroidery. There's a new contemporary design folder with 20 new designs, some of them very large. There's also a new jumbo font called Vine with some nice embroidery designs along with it. I really like this new feature, which will allow me to add stippling to any design instantly. And here I can choose what size of hoop I'm using. So if I want to use my nine and a half by nine and a half inch hoop, I can choose it here and I can even change the distance between where my stippling is coming together and the spacing. There's a new feature where I can take a design it will allow me to work with it as a shape later in IQ Designer, which I'll show you when we get there. Here's where I'll export it. Notice what the machine's doing is it's taking the outline design of this dragonfly shape, and it's giving me the ability to send that shape to IQ Designer. We'll find it in the shapes list. We're gonna come back and do that in just a little bit after I show you a couple other things that I really like. We have a new feature of being able to color sort designs if they have the same colors that they're pulling from. This wedding dress design, and then adding another design with those same colors like the top hat. Give me the ability to go to embroidery and notice that all my design colors are displayed here. The moment I click edit and then touch on this new color sort feature, the machine groups the colors together so that they stitch well, but they also minimize thread color changes. That's an amazing new feature. Some of the next features that I really like have to do with lettering. I now can take a lettering font and I can put in some text. If you realize after you've typed your text that you forgot a letter, simply use the select tool, highlight the letter that you want the letter to fall behind, add it, and there you're set. Now I love this other new feature, which is a new justification. Right now, my words fall directly under one another. If I touch this one time, it will now make all my lettering right justified. Now I'm left justified. That's a quick and easy way to change your lettering. In the Destiny 2, when you create multiple lines of text, they're instantly grouped together. This is great because this means that as you move your design around, all of it comes together. Well, there might be times that you want to ungroup your text. That's a new feature in the Destiny 2. Watch me as I take you step by step of how to ungroup so you can move independently and then regroup your lettering. This is an excellent feature. Menu number seven has always been bobbin work embroidery designs, but what's new today is that you can take a design, set it to the screen, and actually add another bobbin work design. These bobbin work embroidery designs are stitched from the bottom. So that means that your decorative thread is going to go in the bobbin and chances are most of those threads only hold enough on the bobbin to stitch one design. 
So as you use multiple bobbin work embroidery designs at the same time, your machine is going to stop and prompt you to change your bobbin thread before you continue on. That's a nice feature, especially if you like using those designs. The next feature I want to show you is that you can add applique to multiple designs in one hooping, whereas before you could only do one design at a time. Now we're going to take a look at IQ Designer and see all the new features and enhancements that you'll find there. I think you're really going to like these. There are 60 new shapes in IQ Designer. Here we have more closed shape designs. And here's where we have open shapes. So if you remember earlier, we took a dragonfly design and we saved it to IQ Designer. This is where you're going to find this shape now. And here it is. So now you can work with this outline shape in order to be able to create stippling or whatever you want to do around the outside of it. This is a great feature, especially if you're doing something like quilt, where you're replicating a motif throughout your project. And now the last new icon that's up here gives me the ability to pre-select before I even start designing what size of hoop I plan on working with. Being able to choose a hoop size really helps you visually whenever you're planning projects and how big of an area that you have to work with. One of the features that I like the most are that there's new line properties, different stitches that you can assign to a line area. Let me show you. We've always had satin stitch, the double run, and the bean stitch, but now we have a candle wicking stitch and a chain stitch. I'm gonna select my candle wicking stitch, and a color that I can see, and say OK. Now I'm going to open up my shapes, and using one of the new closed shapes, I'll select this flower, and say OK. I'm simply going to click on Next, and you'll notice here at the bottom that I have the ability to change either the height and width or the spacing of my candle wicking stitches. I'm going to just select Preview, And here's my flower design, already done completely in candle wicking stitches. And now for one of my favorite features of the new IQ Designer in Destiny 2, there are a lot of different choices for background filling. So instead of just stippling, I've got a lot that I can choose from. Let me show you. Now the last feature that I want to show you is one that everybody's going to like, and that's that you can see the size and the rotation of your designs prior to stitching them. As you can see, the Destiny 2 has lots of features that will really enhance your sewing and your designing. Head to your Baby Lock retailer for a full demonstration on everything that the Destiny 2 upgrade can do for you.